welcome to today's midweek prayer service. The Lord is inviting us to tonight's prayer service to the book of James chapter 5, verse 13 to 15. Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing psalms. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church. And let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the sick. As we have come to see the face of God through prayer this evening, the Lord is enjoying us to come with faith. Because the prayer of faith saved the sick. As we are offering our prayer to God through faith this evening, the Lord will answer us in the name of Jesus and we shall have testimony in Jesus' name. I declare the service open in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we take this song even before the Lord tonight as we begin to appreciate him? We have come unto the Lord, 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 we have come unto the Lord, we have come to the Father, we have come to renew strength, we have come unto the Lord, we have come unto the Lord. We have come to the Father, we have come to renew strength. We have come unto the Lord, we have come unto the Lord. We have come to the Father, we have come to renew strength. We have come unto the Lord, we have come unto the Lord. We have come to the Father, we have come to renew strength. I want you to begin to put our heart before the Lord tonight. We have come unto the Lord tonight. We have not come unto any man. We have come to seek the face of our Maker. We have come to see the face of our God. We have come to renew our strength today. We need the strength of God to navigate this world. We need the strength of God to escape the onslaught of the wicked one. I want to begin to appreciate the Lord tonight. Even for the privilege that God has given to us to come before him tonight. I will say the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 therefore let us come boldly to the throne of grace Contain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. I want her to come boldly before the throne of grace this afternoon. Let's come with confidence this evening. Let's come with assurance that God is going to answer our prayers. Let's come with faith in our hearts even tonight. We have it in the word of God. We have it in the word of God. And we must come to the, to the Lord. We must come to the Lord. And as I have come into the Lord, we must come with boldness in our heart. We must come with faith in our heart. We must be courageous enough to come to our Father. Because he will never leave us. He will not forsake us. He will not cast us away. Even from his presence. Let's worship him tonight. Let us have come before the Lord tonight. The Lord will answer our prayers. The Bible says, the prayer of faith save the sea. The prayer of faith bring about deliverance even to our life. The prayer of faith bring an end to COVID-19 in Nigeria. I want you to have faith even tonight as we are seeking the face of God in prayer. 
anyone among you suffering? Is anyone among you suffering? The one who will say, let him pray. Let him pray to who? Let him pray to the Lord. Let him pray to God tonight. Lord Jesus, take my suffering away. Let me be your servant. Let me be your servant. Passing through as a nation, even what you are passing through globally, Lord Jesus, yes, take it away from us in Jesus' name. We will not say we should come before you in prayer. If anybody is suffering, we should come before the Lord even in prayer. Suffering will be taken away not by your mercy, only way our suffering, not by your mercy. Take away the COVID-19 even from our nation. Not by your mercy. Let the fear of COVID-19 be taken away by your mercy. Let the fear of COVID-19 be taken away from us in Jesus' name. Father, we have come before you tonight. Lord, take away from us in Jesus' name. For you have commanded all. That anyone that is suffering should come to you. Take away from us in Jesus' name. Lord, 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 take away from us in Jesus' name. As a church, you know our suffering, even as a nation, let our suffering be thrown away in Jesus' name. When the Israelites cry out to you, as a result of their agony, as a result of their suffering, the Bible says you heard their cry, and you visited them, and you roll away their suffering. We are going to go to you tonight according to your word that we should pray to you concerning all our suffering take them away today in Jesus name the Bible says many are the affliction of the righteous but Lord delivered him from them all Father deliver us tonight every form of suffering in our lives you know what you are passing through inside of us you know the pain that we cannot share with any other person Lord we ask oh God tonight that you take this pain away in Jesus name if anybody is sick you should come to you he should come to you in prayer and such so secret will be taken away Father we pray oh God tonight and as God and all of us are suffering from a particular amen you and take the amen away from us in Jesus name coronavirus is an amen in our country coronavirus Lord Jesus yes, we take it away from us in Jesus name you know the kind of sickness in our body Lord we cry out to you tonight. Deal with all the sickness you are born in Jesus. The church of God could not gather again as a result of the effect of COVID-19. It is an effect and it's sickness even on a par. It's a great effect on the church of God. And it's a sign of sickness even on our lives. Father, take this sickness away in Jesus' name. Take this sickness away in Jesus' name. You want say we should pray unto you in times of tribulation, in time of illness, in time of joy, in time of sorrow, in time of de defeat, in time of anxiety, and even of danger, we are crying unto you tonight. Whatever danger that may be looming, up, looming upon our lives, that may be looming upon our nation, as a result of your hunger, not in your mercy, you only wait tonight in Jesus' name. You only wait tonight in Jesus' name. Whatever sorrow, Almighty God. 
I Banaja, you will be coming upon our nation and children. My was only a little bit coming upon the world as a child. My was only your father in your mercy. But Banino, I know you hold it away from all. And you are growing, you hold it away from all. And you are growing, what you are. Give us victory. Where we have experienced defeat in our lives. Give us victory, oh God. In the area you have been defeated in our lives. We need to fit in our lives in Jesus. We need to fit in our lives. In Jesus name. As men are still living under fear today, maybe as a result of COVID 19, so as men are living today under the fear of death, Father, deliver them. I want to pray to God tonight, Father, deliver me from the fear of death, Father, deliver me from the fear of COVID 19, Father, deliver me. From the fear of the devil, but where will we be? I need your deliverance tonight. But the Bible says, "Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. There shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob will possess their possession. Let there be order and deliverance tonight in our lives. Those who call upon the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. They shall be delivered. Let there be order and deliverance in our lives tonight." All that deliverance in our lives. Deliverance has touching our jobs. Deliverance has touching our jobs. Deliverance has touching our businesses. Deliverance has touching our sources of income. Deliverance also has touching our health. Father, give it to us tonight. All around deliverance. All around deliverance. Did it for the people of Israel. But give us a deliverance and let your victory be ours in Jesus' name. Let your victory be ours in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. I see what us will pray to God tonight. The Lord will open a special heavens upon you that will terminate your toiling that will terminate your struggle that will terminate your destiny being at the mercy of people that the Lord will open such heaven upon you tonight heaven that will make you to be an employer of people and heaven that will make you to be connected even internationally heaven that will make you to be connected in all ramifications of life the Lord will open this heaven upon your life in the name of Jesus heaven that will make you to begin to dominate, to begin to dominate in your domains in where you are living where you are working Walking, wherever you find yourself, that will make you to dominate as, as, as the children of God, as a son of God, even as a daughter of God. Turn to prayers in Jesus' name. The Lord God in your mercy, let the heavens of your favor be opened upon my life. Let the heavens of favor be opened upon my job. Let the heavens of favor be opened upon, 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 upon my home. The heavens of favor. The heavens of favor. Let it be open upon my destiny. Let it be open upon my home. Let it be open upon my life. I'm touching my job. I'm touching my business. Let the heavens of favor be open upon them. In the name of Jesus. Christ. 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 I want to begin to appreciate the Lord. For the heavens of favor that be opened upon you. That as from today you begin to experience God's favor in your life. That wherever you go in life. You will be divinely favored. You will be divinely favored. Favor we attend to you. Begin to appreciate the Lord. For the Father, the Asanta of prayers. Thank you our blessed Redeemer. Even in Jesus' glorious name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Our Bible reading for this glorious service shall be taken from the book of Psalms 91, verses 1 and 2. It reads thus, 
Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. I pray that the Lord Almighty will continue to be our fortress and our refuge at this time period in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord and God is good. May the presence of God and goodness of God. I want us to worship the Lord together. Amen. Oh, you are at
I could see the glory of the Lord radiating upon your family. And my prayer is that God will not withdraw His glory from you. It will be an ever increasing glory in the name of Jesus Christ. I am happy to invite you to join me for this midway prayer service. And I want to encourage you don't become weary. Don't be this courage. Our God is still in the business of answering prayers. He will certainly answer your prayers and he will give you testimonies in the name of Jesus. Uh, this will be the second message from Psalm 91. The first time we look at Psalm 91, we did a study of verse 1. And we challenge us on the need to maintain unbroken communion with God. The pathway 
to enjoy the blessing in the presence of God. Is to maintain unbroken fellowship with God. Unbroken fellowship with God is not cheap. It is not something that would just happen by accident. It is a function of deliberate efforts. If you are willing to be the Lord will supply you with the enablement. And the Holy Spirit will take you into the secret place of the Most High. So we'll continue with fast two this evening. We are still looking at the topic assessing God's presence and obtaining the blessing they are in. Let us pray. Our God and our Father. We come with full expectations tonight. We pray that our expectation will not be cut away. For all your children in their various houses where they are watching and where they are listening. Lord, I pray that you will pour your spirit upon them. You will encourage their spirit man. They will not grow weary. They will not be be discouraged and they will not cast off their confidence. We commit this very particular hour unto your hands for every one of us as oh God that it shall be a moment of the miraculous. The Lord through the declaration of your word will have personal encounter with you. And your name will be glorified. Lord, we thank you because we know you have answered our prayers. Because we pray with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. The first time we look at Psalm 91, our attentions were drawn to the two names of God. The Most High and the Almighty. The El Lihon and the El Shaddai. Incidentally, when we get to fast 2 again we we'll see the revelation of another two names of God and for this message our focus will be a study of these two names. I will read Psalm 91 verses 1 and 2 again. But our focus will be on verse 2. Whoever dwells in the secret place of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord He is my refuge And my fortress My God In whom I trust the first name in verse 2 that is revealed of God Is the Lord Onani Olua that is Jehovah. Onani Totumas Jehovah. The God whose presence we must desire to assess. He is the Jehovah. Onani Jehovah. 
what does it mean when he refers himself as the Jehovah? The meaning of Jehovah is the self existent one. The self existent one. Nobody share that nature with God. It is a nature of God that he does not share with anyone. Before anything came into being, this God is God. And without anybody, this God will remain God. He does not need anybody to be God. He does not need the support of anybody. He does not need the assistance of anyone. All of human race. All men. No matter how powerful, no matter how highly placed, their background notwithstanding, their political status notwithstanding, all men exist in him. But he exists outside of us. Suba, Lord, they were long. We need him to be. Ani lo re lati wa. But he does not need us to be God. Suba, Lord, you are not lewa lati ge Lord. So for who he is, who until you are there, we can lean upon him. Ale fe yiti, and we can depend on him. Eh la le gara le. Like the psalmist. Be on the psalm. Those who have intimate relationship with him. Amati wa ni basi po tomu na doko pelure. Those who have resolved to dwell in the secret place of the Most High. They can say with boldness that the Lord Oluwana is my Lord. Oni Oluwa me. He is my refuge. Oni bi abomi. He is my shelter. Oni bi sabi me. And he is my hope. Ona wani reti me. So the first name that is revealed in verse two. Ni tori no rukwa koko tafi an wani ese keji. Is Lord. Oni Oluwa. And we are to take him for our refuge. As the brother Ori gege bi bi abowa. A refuge in time of trouble. Aboni a koko wahala. Whether trouble within us, iba se wahala ni no wani. Or trouble outside us. Sabi wahala to wa lo de wa. There are several troubles that are going on in the head of people. Ogulogon wahala lo shele lo 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 wala wani no ori a mwe ni ya. You can trust. Go for the trouble that is ongoing in your head. Ole, bo lono bo fu awo wa la to lono no agbari re. There are several troubles that are going on within the heart of people. O kwa wa la lono shele ni no kanwe ni ya. But the good news is that you can trust God for the trouble that is ongoing in your heart. Tomorrow ni ayo na ni pe ole bo lono bo fu awo wa la to wa ni no kanre. He is a never failing hope. Oji o lono ti ki kuna ni no irete. So the sermon says. Because I know him. I know him to be the Lord. Then I will say of him. He is my refuge. He is my fortress. When the psalmist confessed him for a fortress. A fortress is a strong place. A fortress is a defense. And you need to listen and get me clear. What fortifications are to a house? What fortifications are to a building? That is what God is to his children. There are several 
means of fortification that we put up today people are spending large money to fortify their houses so that they can prevent the unwelcome enemy from coming in houses are being fortified against Burglars. One more day, clear one lay, load is here one for lay. Houses are being fortified against fire accidents. I'm more the yika, kill lay, little region by now. Some doors that people install in their houses today, they are fireproof. I want to go to your one, can't lose you lay one lonely. When you go to bank today, you can see how fortified they have. The agitation that is ongoing now among the earth workers is that the government should provide them with PPE, personal protective equipment PPE for earth workers is a form of fortification there are some places today when you look at them you will dove your heart you will, conf you will confess with your mouth ah, this is a secret your place. But lo and behold, COVID-19 COVID has succeeded in the mystified the belief that many people had unto for ages. That is so bo bo igbeke le ti anwe ni akaduro le lori di yekpere la ti ojoto chepe before now it was generally believed that white house is invisible no unwanted enemy can come in but COVID-19 has demystified <laughs> this belief for ages many thought that Buckingham Palace in London is unassailable. But COVID-19 has demystified this belief. Some of us in our local corner we thought that Asso Rock is secure against unwanted visitors. But COVID-19 has proved us wrong. The implication is this. There is no fortification put up with human hands. That is unassailable. The only place that is invincible Kiki, because of the, choice, the, the only place that is unassailable for unwanted enemies is the name of the Lord. Oh, no, 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 no. no wonder the Bible says oh, yeah, yeah, no, be belly, we be. in Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10 mm -hmm. that the name of the Lord no, 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 no. is a fortified tower. Mm -hmm. The name of the Lord no, 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 no. is a fortified Fight tower. People that have right standing with God, they run into it. And they are saved. I speak in the power of the living God. Safety that is invincible. Protection that is unassailable. But as dreadful as COVID 19 is. The fortification it cannot assail. Which is the name of the Lord. Shall be your protection. In the name of Jesus. Can I hear a Sunday to Dara? So when the psalmist says, I will say of the Lord. I will say of the Lord. 
the self assistant one the one who has been before the beginning of all beginnings and we say of him he is my refuge and my fortress i put it before you who is your fortress who is your fortification Ignorantly, some of us will consult with occultic power. The reason why many of us engage in occultism is to look for fortification. The bitter truth is this. Occultic power can help you in the morning. But in the afternoon when you need it most, it will disappoint you. If a cutting power struggle to help you till afternoon, in the evening time, when you need it most, it will disappoint you. And the failure will be so great. The disaster will be so great. That is why you need to look beyond occultic power. Look beyond charms. Look unto God. He is the only one who cannot fail. In the name of the Lord. Is a fortified tower. I love it. The Bible said the righteous run into it. And he is saved. Oh, see you. you are saved. Oh, you. you are secured. Oh, well, you are protected. Oh, well, In the name of the Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. The second name that is revealed in verse 2. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. So the second refit name is God. God. He is unchanging. He is reliable. He is dependable. And he is abundantly able. Because of who he is, because of who he is, he is to be trusted. The psalmist says, My God, in whom I trust. And it is the same God today that I'm introducing unto you that you should trust him. Trust him for your life. Trust him for your family. Trust him for your job. Trust him for your health. Trust him for your investment. Trust him for your challenges. Trust him in the hours of trouble. He is trustworthy. He is God who cannot fail. Failure is not in the nature of this God. Failure is not part of this God. If you will come by faith today, if there is going to be a resource in your heart, that you are going to maintain unbroken communion with him, if you will cry with us seriously, that the Holy Spirit should take him to the secret place of the Most High. I can assure you, it will be your refuge. It will be your fortress. And as you trust in, it will not disappoint you. I want you to buy your head. So buy your head. Look inward. Search your heart. Ask the Holy Spirit of God to help you. Holy Spirit, search me. Is there anything in me? 
that will hinder me and prevent me from having access into the presence of God. As the Holy Spirit to reveal unto you. So for a If the Holy Spirit is pointing your attention to eighteen. Go ahead and resolve that issue with God. Whatever may stand between you and your blessing. You just have to resolve it. You must get rid of it right away. As you do that, you will obtain mercy. In the name of Jesus. I want you to worship him. Worship him for who he is. He is the most high. The early horn. One who is higher than the highest. Higher than the highest principalities. Forces of darkness in their rankings. The money spirit in their rankings. He is higher than them. Oh my God, you want Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Lift him your voices unto the Lord. Open your mouth and declare, say, Lord, you are great. You are highly exalted. Highly lifted. But there is none like you. You are highly lifted up. You are lifted up. There is no one like you. Ali, 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 no, yeah, you are I live lifted up. There is no one like you. Hallelujah. Ali, 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 no. To worship him, worship him, let him be lifted. Let him be lifted. And as you worship him, I want you to confess. I will say of you, my God. You are my refuge. You are my fortress. I will say of you, my Lord. You are my refuge. And my fortress. I want you to pray that prayer. A place of security. A place of safety. A defense that no evil power can break through. Oditi agbarai bi ka kole banu de wole deadly pestilence cannot assail it. Ajakale an wone ku pane ni kole babe wole calamity cannot assail it. Ijamba lo ni ruru ruru kwa wole babe wole. Pray that the Lord will be unto you. Badura we pray alone you get one a secured place. Ibi abuto da yo. Pray unto the Lord. Badura si oluwa. As you resume in your offices of work. Bo se pada se nui se re. As the Lord to watch over you. So for alone ko boju tu o. As the Lord to shield you. So for alone ko da bo bo. Pray the Lord it is your fortification I need. Badura that is why earlier on we have been told the mouth mask we put on is good the hand sanitizer is good social distance is good we need more than this the only fortification that cannot fail is God. So pray, Lord, be my refuge, be my fortress in the name of Jesus. Lord, unto the Lord that it will be your security until this disaster be over. 
the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In 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 it is you and you alone that I trust. I trust you for my life. I trust you for my spouse. I trust you for my children. I trust you for my family. Father, may we be secured in you. May we be protected. May we be provided for. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Lord, I trust you. The psalmist says, my God in whom I trust. Lord, I trust you. I trust you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. One of our hymns says, Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be in Jesus but to trust and obey when we walk with the Lord in the light of His world. What a glory shed on our way When we do His good way He abide with us still And with our world we trust and obey Trust and obey Trust and obey For there's no other way to be I mean in Jesus, but we can't break away. Off to time. Things we see with our eyes. I want time for you, worry. Things we hear with our ears. I want time for you, worry. Things that are happening to us. I want to sell a sewer. They tempt us to doubt God. But you're going to pray in spite of them all in spite of the things I see in spite of the things I hear in spite of the things happening Lord it my resolve today it is my resolve today to trust you I will trust you for my life let my life be secure let my family be secure let my job be secure open your mouth and pray Lord the grace to trust you to keep trusting you not minding what the things that are happening. Light here, run to sell a kakiri. Lord, I receive the grace. Baba, Bob, Bowery of Fena. In the name of Jesus. Lord, look at Jesus. I receive the grace. Bob, Bowery of Fena. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Lord, look at Jesus. Lord, Badura. And finally, Lakota. You will speak to this very particular month. Oh, Bowery, you saw sorry, Nepatu. Hear ye the word of God. I come in the name of the Lord. And I declare. In this month. It shall be well with me. You dara for me. My peace will not be stolen. My joy will not be stolen. My blessing will not be stolen. Every good thing. The Lord has blessed me with. No one will steal. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. No robbery. No one will rob me. No one will steal from me. Because I have the most high. I have the almighty. I have God. I have Jehovah. Oh, blessed be your name, O God. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. In Jesus. In Jesus. In Jesus. In Jesus. In Jesus. We thank you for the gift of your word. 
want to appreciate you in a special way for people who have received your word into their lives. We thank you for people who are resolving to receive you into their lives. We thank you for those who have resolved to maintain unbroken communion with you. We will receive for everyone grace to take you for a refuge to take you for a fortress a secure place that will never fail a secure place that will never disappoint I will receive the grace today in the name of Jesus and I pray you will be for your people a security that the wicked cannot assail a fortification that daily pestilence cannot assail on the authority of your word I declare your children untouchable in the name of Jesus as they trust you for their life for their marriages for their job for their academics for their infection Lord eternal bless them with the blessings of your presence mark them with the blood of Jesus hide them behind the cross and continue to take good care of them Lord we pray for all our earth workers all medical doctors all nurses all lab scientists especially people that are handing COVID-19 related cases Father be their fortress and their refuge and finally Father we pray you will shield them and by the working of the blood of Jesus they will not be infected Father fortify them Fortify them against infection. As many of them that have been infected will receive divine healing. In the name of Jesus, I pray for all of the members of this assembly within the nation, the country, and outside the country. Wherever they may be, my God and my Father. I pray you will fortify them against the attack of deadly pestilence. You will make them untouchable. That they will be secure. They will be saved. Thank you, Almighty Father. To you alone be all glory. All honor. All adoration. In Jesus. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Amen. The love of God the Father, Amen. And the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Rest and abide with every one of you, Amen. Be unto you unfailing protection, Amen. Unassailable security, Amen. Even now and forevermore, Amen. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. We are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.